Paano ko nakakuha ka ng employer dito sa Atlantic Province pero hindi naman designated employer ng AIPP? So that's our discussion for today. If you're ready, let's begin. Ayan mga kam, welcome to When in Halifax. And this question is from our Cap Luis Campos. What if wala sa list of designated employer ang nag-o-offer or ina-applyan mo sa AIPP? Uh, any way of becoming PR po kung ganun? So that's a very good question, Cap Luis. Maraming salamat for this question. So paano nga ba? Naghanap ka ng employer, nakakuha ka, pero unfortunately, this employer is hindi po siya designated employer. E yung nakuha mong employer ay hindi po designated employer. So, ano po ang dapat gawin? At ano, meron bang chance makapunta dito at mag-immigrate dito sa Canada? So, that's our discussion for today. Before we begin, click the subscribe button and follow me on YouTube channel When in Halifax and join us every Saturday, 11 a.m. Manila time We have a Q&A live streaming kasama si Miss Mel of Ajok International. Ayan. So let's begin. Kung makakuha ka po ng employer, hindi lang po AIPP ang programang nandito sa Nova Scotia or sa other provinces. Marami po different pathway. Nandiyan na po ang express entry, nandiyan po ang provincial nominee, nandiyan po ang student visa, nandiyan po ang AIPP. Ang provincial nominee, marami na pong different types. Meron pong work permit. So, ibig sabihin, what I mean po mga kap, ay AIPP is isa lamang po sa mga programang pwede mong gamitin para makapunta ka dito sa Canada. I still remember na sinasabi nga natin, paulit-ulit natin sinasabi sa ating live streaming kasama si Miss Med that they are, there are 80 more, 80 plus, 80 plus different program all throughout Canada. So, ibig sabihin mga kap, kung nakakuha ka po ng employer dito sa Atlantic Provinces pero hindi po siya hindi po siya designated employer ng AIPP ang tanong ano po ang dapat. So, ang employer pwede po ikaw, pwede ka po mag-undergo ng work permit kung saan hahanap po siya ng LMIA or LAMIA. So, if you are not familiar with LAMIA or LMIA, I strongly suggest to watch our work permit series kasama si Ms. Mel of Ajok International. So, watch that series and you will understand how the work permit works. So, pwede kang pumasok dito sa Canada under work permit. Pwedeng merong lamiya, pwedeng wala. So, it will always depend on your background. It will always depend on what program you're going to take. The best example is the Nova Scotia Provincial Nominee. Ay, as I mentioned mga kap, marami pong different programa na nandito sa Canada. Example na lang is dito sa Nova Scotia Provincial Nominee Program, mayroon pong iba't ibang programa under Nova Scotia Provincial Nominee. There's program for registered nurses, there's a program for the uh, physician, for interior, for student, for the skilled worker, for the occupation demand. So, marami pong programa na available po. For example, nakakuha ka ng employer. Pero yung employer ay hindi designated employer. Baka pwede po siya sa ibang programa like for example dito sa skilled program, dito sa occupation demand. So dito sa Nova Scotia, dito sa Nova Scotia skilled program, pwede daw po kumuha ang employer ng foreign worker. Ang sabi dito sa programa na to, dapat daw mayroong full-time permanent job offer from a Nova Scotia employer. Malay mo Luis, yung employer mo ay taga Nova Scotia. So pwede pwede siya dito sa skilled worker or pwede naman dito sa occupation demand ano yung occupation demand? the occupation demand says have a full-time permanent job offer from Nova Scotia employer either in OC 3413 ano ba yung 3413? Nurses Aid Order this Patient Service Associate or NOC 7511 Transport Truck Driver. So, this is the best example na nakakuha ka ng employer pero si employer mo ay hindi naman AIPP designated employer. Ano ang dapat mong gawin? Try to explore different programs. Pwedeng work permit, 
pwedeng provincial nominee, pwedeng uh, express entry. So, maraming program, maraming option. My best advice for for you, Louis, is try to ask for professional advice. That's my best advice for you because meron ka ng asset Meron ka ng employer na willing to support you, willing to help you to immigrate and work here in Canada. Meron ka ng malaking asset. Ang tanong na lang, anong programa? I strongly suggest if you experience the same scenario, meron ka na kuwang employer, pero hindi mo alam kung saan ka pupunta at anong programang kukunin mo, I strongly suggest to connect with Ms. Mel of Ajok International. Message them on Facebook, Ajok International. Uh, message them and ask them, Miss Mel, meron pa ang employer, I don't know what the program, can you help me? And I think that's the best way to do para po ma-plan siya at ma-layout na sa'yo kung ano mga programa ang pwede. Bakit po kailangan i-plan siya? Number one kasi na kailangan mo is employer. Pero every provinces, meron iba't ibang programa. Every, in, every job background or job experience may mga programa pong required so for me, I strongly suggest suggest sa inyo meron ka ng employer, eto na yung magandang asset mo ask for professional advice I will advise uh, I will recommend Miss Mel of Ajok International um, and of course if you have more questions about this, feel free to join us every Saturday 11am Manila time and we have a Q&A kasama si Miss Mel because tanong mo, sagot namin. So that's my question. Uh, that's my advice for you, Louis. If you watch this, please comment it below. If you find it helpful, mga kap, please hit the subscribe button and follow me on my YouTube channel. Click the notification button and see you here in Canada. Bye, mga kap.